I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. Rib. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the Hogshead, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Very well. I'll speak with them. See what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles, and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Hmm. Why? I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound <sighs> no. silly, but those were Isco's pride and daisies. joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful. Well, there you have it. Albeit more than disturbing. I didn't Mr. realize Bickle there was, was trying trampled to help daisies. Us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Mrs. Raby, we do hope you will reconsider helping us with our banking needs. We've given you ample time to reach a decision on your own, but we are beginning to lose our patience. We know your husband would appreciate it if you were to see the value in our working together. Shall we expect a response by weekend? Best to keep this between us if you understand our meaning. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Dibble, uh, may I job. interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir, I would like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right, but we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you know who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What did he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly, in an instant. He took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. 
He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. Dude, are you I've serious? I've been able to cover for his request until now with some creative bookkeeping. But I can't You're being blackmailed because you don't want to tell your boss you're marrying his daughter. I could never live with Grow a dress. pair. I'm not even going to read this. This dude's a wanker. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Well, Dude, okay. you're pathetic. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. You're gonna get, <laughs> gonna get black because you don't want to tell people you're engaged. If I was trying to be pissed, might be the time to look for a different freaking husband. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Oh, I don't know why, but Agabus sound very feminine to me. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation. This had better be better than a so whiny refused. baby over there. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But uh, perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friends. Now to find Matty. <laughs> Guess I should go the right way, huh? Pardon me, coming through. It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hogshead. Perhaps I'll find her there. Are you kidding me? I gotta run back up here. Natty? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Natty? Natty, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Natty? Smooth criminal. Are you freaking kidding me? I was literally right there. Natty must be around here somewhere. 
Oh, and and his wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> oh, what do we got here? You can wait a second, Natty. Revelio. Mounted hog's head. This mounted hog's head rolls its eyes and snuffles its nose as it oversees the seedy atmosphere and decidedly interesting clientele of the hog's head. This place is so seedy and knowingly seedy. must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Why are they still left open? Why are there not auras everywhere? Footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. Must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. After I pick up the galleons, of course. Mingo will potion. Rebellion. Could use that. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Enough of Feldcroft. Hope I never have to see it again. Knew we would never. I may go to Hogsmeade later. Stir up. Be on the lookout for the girl's friend. If they do not deny to try to come through here. Hmm. I want to do. Oh. I used to be stationed near Irondale with Selwyn. Afraid to no. face me. You didn't it's see me. Shot. You didn't see me. These aren't the droids you're the looking for. Come looking for her. Too dangerous. Wasting our time. All right. Well, I go do this. So I'm not getting out of it now. Oh. Expulsion! Oh shit, I didn't know he followed me. 
Might be a little cheatish. I need your help. Mr. Rabe, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? But I'm not gonna run out there. I'm all right. <laughs> Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Use mine. We'll find yours together once you're out of there. I need my wand for this. Using one with which I have no connection may just do like well, seventeen quickly, and we cannot risk detection. I shall do my best. He looks Any younger than me. It be? It's nearby. I can sense it. Understood. I'll find it. Your friend Natty was not the in the sun. It must be blocked by something. Mr. Rave's wand. He'll be glad to have this back. Mr. Rave, I found your wand. Well done. I have your wand in my I knew hand. It was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Rebellion. Anything else in here while I'm waiting? No. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both. But I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be I careful. Know. <laughs> it's pretty rough. Thank you, my young friends. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Revelio. Don't you? You sense a foot in your ass. Let me loves that fucking soldier. Son of a dispulsia or expulsa or bid me over. Alright, let's try this again. Where am I at here? Let's finish this. Why is he almost out? Oh, I didn't want to do that either. Damn it. What are you, shy? I'll see more courage. I control you. Expulsion! Incendium! Incendium! 
I defeated her, but I'll take it. And where the hell is Natty at? Revelio. Were we not in this together, Natty? I mean... Natty! Did she leave me? Lower Hobbsfield needs some stocks after our little visit. <laughs> Where the hell did she go? You are as dear to me as in Algare, whose voice foretells the coming rain. It's you are loved. Thing. By me as a crypt could be whose loyalty is true and plain. You have cast a spell over my heart. I want it not undone. You have charmed me from the very start. You have always been the one. Book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. What are you doing back here anyway? You looking to steal my Jabbernal statue? Pavelia. Douche? Stealing my shit? Where the hell is Natty? Locked her up. That bitch shit it out on me. What are we even doing here? We ought to hear the hog's head. This is a way to tell us. Revelio. Did I see a sheep? Yeah, I did, right there. I want to know. We're just going to keep on going. Galleons, that's about it. Now I'm lost. Lumos. This should keep me nice and concealed. Sure, I got away with and that. I want to share in my victory, but I'll take it. All right, find a way a out. Ashwinder's hideout.
Dear darling Otto, I have read your last letter over and over and am certain to read it again. Each hour until we are able to meet, I dread the notion that I will not see you soon, but I am not without hope. I long for the day that our engagement can be shared with those whom we love, especially my dear father. I do not wonder at your wanting to wait until you are more settled, my love, and I know that you are doing all you can to ensure that such a situation is within our grasp. Please allow me to say that these past months of being unable to share publicly the feelings which exalt me to the utmost pinnacle of happiness have been an existential challenge indeed. And now I am off to read your letter once more. Otto Dibble's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me Rosie. to destroy this if I found it. I think we can blackmail his ass. No. But if I was a Slytherin, I would. Right? After I run into the wall. Lumos. Daddy, what the hell? You sure did talk a lot of shit and left. Nuts I own I. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness that yeah, you that's are right. safe. Don't forget ancient magic seer as well. Isco Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you too. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife, Miss Onai. Your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened by the Ashwinders. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Understood. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Nutside. Maybe she's in on you it. You may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. We do My know that some of the like this. cops are. Thank you again for on rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Oh, shh. 